welcome 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 everybody uh to a very very special evening for us here at the product folks today is saturday and it is as always a big day for all of us at in sergio week three measuring what matters the analytics functions uh in product we have a born storyteller with us today all wrapped up as a seasoned product manager but he's a storyteller really uh introducing moinak bandho padai staff pm for core analytics and machine learning at mix panel why why measure anything why why do why do we need to measure anything when we can just do user interviews so i think both of these are tools that are needed in a user's repertoire and in a pm's repertoire specifically and they serve different purposes so as an example when you're actually starting off trying to understand what are the different problems that our users are facing in their life cycle well a combination of user interviews and analytics can get you that but when you actually need to understand which problem do i prioritize first you need to get an aggregate view to actually understand which problems are more important than the others and to get that aggregate view analytics plays a very important role whereas analytics you actually get to capture exactly what people are doing so analytics gets me closer to the truth all right so seems like analytics is in, you know important what are some of the ways that people get wrong so one of the most common ways that i see people go wrong when they are thinking about their analytics strategies is they end up fixated on metrics that make them look really good as opposed to things where there's actual real customer value tied to it choosing a wrong metric can also lead you to missing out on certain opportunities who knows who this player is picking the right metrics is actually trickier than you think and you have to keep certain pitfalls in mind when you're designing this you want to make sure it's tied to real customer value you want to make sure you're not thinking about too many metrics together you want to make sure that you're thinking about the second order effects of of picking your metrics and uh, you want to make sure you're not losing out on any of the opportunities where we want to end up today is we want to together as a group build one of these metrics frameworks it all starts with a focus metric or a north star metric then we learn about what are the different level 1 metrics that feed into your your focus metric or north star metrics what are the differences what are the different key ingredients needed to build this but this is where you'll end up let's start with the first piece so what is a north star metric well north star metric is the metric that is predictive of your company's long term success this is the metric that all the different teams align their strategies and initiative towards this is that guiding light just wanted to sort of go through a, a few more examples of what could be the core value moment for something like media that we just saw it often is playing some sort of media for finance it could be something like completing a trans completing a transaction for e-commerce it could be ordering an item or ordering an item and it being delivered on time again different companies can have different variations on this but the whole idea is when is the value exchange completed is it completed when you just order it what is it completed when you order it and get delivered is getting it delivered good enough or do you need some quality bar on that it's subjective this is to meant to spark these discussions in your team another one is there could be different variations in saas right sharing a file starting a chat etc um social networking might just be coming in and starting a new session a north star metric is really one of the metrics that has been elevated to be the guiding light for the company for reach activation active users engagement retention revenue and then a bunch of things that are business specific so now we've learned about north star metrics we know core value proposition we know the natural usage frequencies and now we also know a bunch of different metric types to think about
Now you're ready to choose a North Star metric for your own business. What is the core value proposition for Airbnb? And what do you think is the North Star metric? And what are some of the, the other alternatives that you consider and then why? It's great. A lot of y'all have actually gotten this exactly right. Um, yeah, the core value proposition, that's something like Airbnb uh, experiences is when someone actually comes to the platform, looks at these things, and then actually does a booking. Spotify, Southern, what do you think is the core value proposition and what do you think is a North Star metric? What are some of the alternatives? And why do you think you picked what that particular North Star metric is? But I think if you sort of want to boil it down to what metric captures the value exchange with the strategy of the company, it might be something like um, the number of minutes of media played. What's important is you need counter metrics to force the decision, force the discussion on what are some of the unintended consequences of everything that I'm trying to run as a product initiative. This is the number one thing that helps you understand, are people building a habit out of using your product? Does your company have product market fit? Okay, the yellow one. Let's do a poll on this. Do you think the yellow line has product market fit? Turns out this is getting there. You're getting there, but if you, it's still tilting down still means maybe you're losing users at a slower rate, but you're still losing users. And it still means you aren't quite there yet. I've set up a custom dashboard just for Insurger. Go play around with it, get some ideas. This is a practical application. Manav, this was amazing. Honestly, I think we will do a poll so you get an idea too. I know you've been engrossed in the session, but a couple of ideas for the q and I know there are tons. I mean, it was an intense session for a lot of folks. And thanks for going in that depth. People <laughs> love the examples, honestly. Uh, your energy through this entire 108 minutes so far and maybe 120 by the time we close was amazing.